Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're taking a look at a brand new 2022 No Boundaries 20.4 travel trailer by Forest River RV. This is a new line that Nobo has come out with, the 20 series. And we're going to start on the inside and then we'll come on back to the outside and show you all about it. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, guys, we're now up inside the brand new 2022 No Boundaries 20.4 model here. We're going to start up in the front section and then kind of spin our way back through. Again, this is a new lineup for the No Boundaries product. This is their first eight foot wide floor plan. Normally, you're looking at the smaller 16 series or 10 series or even the 19 series. So this one takes you up a little bit bigger, more into a traditional travel trailer size range. So a little taller inside, um, a little bit wider and a little more ground clearance. But you'll see that when we get back outside. So first things up, just wanted to kind of talk about the front section right here. I'll set the camera down so we can kind of show you what this looks like here. But basically you have a sofa right here that will flip down and then a bed will come out. Now under the sofa is a little bit of storage also, but we're going to show you how this looks. So this basically just flips down out of your way. You have a little latch here to pull down and then it comes right on down. So nice and easy to do here. That is a 60 by 80 traditional queen style bed. Um, so it is a normal queen instead of a short queen that you find in a lot of RVs. Now with that being down, you do have the window overlooking the front of the RV. There's a pull down shade there. And you also have a little bit of shelf space back in behind the hanging closet areas here. So you got some space on that side and some space over here. Each side has its own little reading light. Down here on this side of the uh, bed area, you have your inverter button. There's a light switch for the closet lights, an electric outlet, and a USB charger port. Closet-wise, you can kind of see you do have a decent amount of closet space for hanging a few clothes. Shelf space up above that. And again, you have the same thing over on the left side here. And you have an electric outlet and USB charger ports down there too. Now on the right side, you do have some more storage down here. Kind of goes back in there. But you do not have that storage on the left side. So that part is a little bit different. And again, you do have the storage underneath that area as well under your bed. The window on the right side does open. The window on the left side also opens and acts as an emergency exit window. The front windshield does not open. You do have a little roof vent up top there. The AC system in the unit is also ducted where you won't find that in many of the other Nobo floor plans. So a little different there. Decent amount of floor space, and you can tell standing in here that it is wider than the other Nobo models. And nice little area there where you could put you a couple bar stools. On the side of the cabinet here, this one was ordered with the solar package. You have your solar charge controller, little bottle openers, key ho uh, keychain holders. This was also ordered with the cold weather climate package. So you have your 12 volt heat pads here, water pump switch, water heater on gas switch. The electric switch is outside in the lower left corner of the water heater, battery condition meter, fresh water, black water, and gray water all right here. Some more USB charger ports. You have your interior light switch, a porch light switch, and awning light switch. Now on the porch light switch, you can flip it to amber mode or clear mode, slide out in and out and awning in and out buttons. 
So some of your controls are up here out of the way so you don't have to worry about the grandkids being able to reach them. Slide out is electric so you just push a button it'll come in and out. You have a traditional booth dinette here and again you have that Murphy bed slash sofa set up as well. The dinette will make into a small bed for guests. There's storage under each side, little doors that open up on the ends of the dinette area. The windows in the slide, all three of those windows do open. This one was also ordered with the 28 inch LED 12 volt TV. So again, if you're kind of boondock camping or something, you can fire up that TV on 12 volt power. Um, if you do a lot of boondock camping, I would definitely recommend a good battery pack setup. Uh, the traditional 12 volt deep cycle battery that most dealers put in an RV um, lasts for a while, but if you're a real off the grid camper, I'd definitely upgrade to some nice 100 amp hour like lithium batteries or something. Uh, but just for your little quick trips and stuff, a couple regular batteries might do you in as well. Light switch here and USB charger port on the side of the uh, counter here. And the light switch works the LED light strip under the bar section there. Large single bowl sink. It does have the sprayer faucet. Um, so... That's pretty normal in the Nobo models. Window back there does also open. You have some overhead cabinetry there. Hood range light and fan. A little bit different stove. This is going into a more traditional RV stove top. Uh, you do have the little light up knobs, three burner stove top, flip down glass lid. And then you have your convection microwave feature down below. Below the convection microwave is the furnace return. Electric box with your breakers and fuses down below the refrigerator here. Propane leak detector also down there. Now there is some storage underneath of your sink area. Electric outlet also there. Refrigerator wise, you have the 12 volt, 10.7 cubic foot refrigerator. This is pretty common in RVs nowadays. Uh, again, they're going for that solar panel slash off the grid kind of use kind of scenario. So you have a 12 volt fridge. Some storage below your TV area there. And then on the side area here, is the central vac which does have the little dustpan foot vac down there and you can purchase aftermarket the hose system that goes to the enter vac but you have to do that on enter vac's website it doesn't come with the camper from the factory pretty much all linoleum in here so they're expecting to just kind of sweep it in there and suck it up that way back here you have your foot flush toilet have a little bit of storage underneath your sink area. Wood medicine cabinet here. And then you do have a large turbo exhaust fan. Also have air conditioning and heat coming into this area. You do have a skylight up above your shower area here. Two piece ABS tub surround. does have that uh, shower miser feature to help you conserve water. Really important if you're off the grid style camping. And you got the little pull across curtain, which is attached to a little bar there. Spinning on around here, we do have a large storage area here in the back. So you have shelves on the right, hanging closet on the left. You have your little metal lock box there. And then down below here, we have some more storage. So pretty good bulk of storage located in the bathroom. 
sliding pocket door, giving your bathroom privacy here. Currently using the Coleman AC system. All right, guys, I want to go outside, show you around the outside, and then we're going to come back in and close this thing up. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, guys, we're now back on the outside of the brand new 2022 No Boundaries 20.4 model. We're going to start here on the door side of the RV and kind of work our way around. So first things up, it still has the traditional white base fiberglass exterior with the lower gray fiberglass some vinyl decals, and then you have the black aluminum trimming along the bottom. Up front here, we do have a pass-through storage compartment. It goes all the way across the front. You can also see some of that aluminum tube framing there. Power awning, LED light strip built in, adjustable arms for tilting for water runoff. You also have the manual override in case of an electronic failure and the front arm head here. The new eight wide series here, the 20.4, has higher ground clearance than the traditional 19 series and 16 series. You have a triple entrance step to get you up in the doorway area there. Currently using the more ride step above step and that has a 500 pound rating, adjustable feet, and just flips right back up inside the doorway. Tended safety glass windows, traditional RV entry door, has a screen door as well. You do have the uh, large folding entry handle there to help you get in and out of the RV. Next to that is also some informational stickers, your model number, this one here talks about the solar being on board because it was ordered with the solar package. Also has that Asdale on board sticker. Very nice improvement to the construction of an RV um, when you're getting into these fiberglass units. That fiberglass is actually glued to an eighth inch lou on board on a lot of RVs, which is basically wood. And if it leaks, it can rot out that wood, bubble, delaminate, cause all kinds of issues. Asdale, on the other hand, man-made composite material. If it leaks, it is much less likely to have any type of delamination issue as it's not wood. It is again a composite material that's all glued together to kind of add to the strength of your RV. So it's a little bit better sound deadener, a little bit better insulator compared to the Lou on board, but the most important part of it is no water damage and rot and mold mildew on that portion of the RV. So very nice. You have a dual axle setup on the 20 series here. This is gone back to a traditional leaf spring axle that you find on a lot of RVs. So it does not have the torsion flex like you find on the smaller Nobos. So that part's a little bit different than what you're used to seeing on the No Boundary series. Uh, you do have the black aluminum wheels. You also have the unit riding on an off-road style tire. They're currently using the Goodyear Wrangler tire. So a little bit more of an aggressive off-road tire on the RV, which this is kind of what they've been using for a while on No Boundaries campers. Six gallon gas electric water heater here. Just below that is also an electric outlet your furnace exhaust out here, and then there's a cold water spray port, the little black round thing in the middle of that decal. LED awning light there, you can turn on and off separate from your traditional porch light. That porch light also can flip into amber mode. We talked about that earlier. Stove exhaust out up here. Now you can also put a grill, a little griddle, uh, and a little shelf out here. It comes with the RV, and you can kind of see it pop up in the picture here, what it looks like on one of the other Nobo models. But basically, you can do a little outside cooking here. And down below is where your gas line hookup is for that. And you can also see those hot and cold low point water drains down there too.
The unit has a traditional flat back rear end here. Standard four inch square tube bumper is what you pretty much find on just about all travel trailers. Um, it does have a place there basically at the end caps where you could pop those off and slide your dump hose inside there. That's where a lot of people like to store those. On the back here, you can also see your spare tire has a traditional steel wheel. And this is a Westlake tire instead of Goodyear tire. So your four main tires are Goodyear Wranglers. Here on your spare, it is a Westlake tire. So a little bit different on that side of things. Black tank flush to clean out your toilet system on the rear here. You do have a ladder to help you get up onto the roof of the RV. It is a short ladder, uh, so it is a pretty good step up on there. They do that in part because they don't want little kids and stuff trying to climb up there, although, you know, little kids probably are going to do it anyway. But it is a little bit shorter ladder than what you would find on a, another type of RV, possibly. Up top here, you do have prepping for observation camera. And that's a really nice feature to have, so you can kind of see what's going on behind you or when you're backing into a camper, campground. Up top there on the roof, you can kind of see some of the stuff up here in the picture. You have your solar panel up there if you order it with that option, the AC, TV antenna, some plumbing stack vents, vent, roof vents, all that stuff up there, skylight and everything. You do guys have to get up there from time to time and check your seams and seals and stuff on there. Very important to do so. Again, you can kind of see here in the back lower corner, you have the uh, scissor jack back here, your dump handles back here, and your dump exit area is all coming out this back corner right here. But your gray and black tank dump handles are right up there. The gate valves and everything are enclosed so it's less likely to have a freeze up issue in the cooler fall or early spring time. Uh, obviously in the winter time, if you are a true snow type of camper, you may have to skirt the things. You may have to you know, come up with something a little above and beyond what the factory does. Again, it has 12 volt heat holding tanks. Um, you know, those are supposed to be rated down to zero degrees according to the heat pad maker but I know some of you guys up in Canada and places like that do get a little colder and might need to do something a little more. Slide out is currently using the Schwintech slide. This is a little bit bigger and deeper slide out than what you'll find on the other Nobo models on the smaller models. On around to this side of the RV, you have your fresh water gravity fill tank fill up right here, your city water inlet right here, the other side of the storage compartment, obviously. And then those baggage doors, by the way, are held up by magnetic holders instead of plastic clips. Down below, you can see the fresh water tank drain under there. And again, the unit has that enclosed underbelly. Now we're going to pop up a few pictures for you here real quick. The first picture popping up is going to be your main data sticker. And on this sticker, you're going to see your axle sizes. You're going to see your gross vehicle weight. That's the most you can load the RV up to. Axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined. Do not exceed that number. You'll also see again that production date and stuff like that on there as well. But again, do not exceed that gross vehicle weight. That's very important. Next is gonna be your unloaded vehicle weight sticker. And this sticker basically is telling you what the RV weighed when it rolled off the factory assembly line. And it also tells you the length now as well. Next sticker is going to be your cargo carrying capacity sticker. And this is basically telling you how much gear you can load into the RV before you exceed that gross vehicle weight. Again, very important, do not exceed that number. Next sticker is going to be your tire sticker, basically telling you your tire size, but most importantly, telling you tire pressure. Very, very important, guys, to maintain that tire pressure properly. If you let it drop too low, the tires cannot hold the weight of the RV 
and it can blow them out a lot easier. So make sure you check your tire pressure and stuff. Also, make sure you check your lug nut torque from time to time. RVs get a lot of twisting and side load and stuff on their rims and tires. It's very important to make sure they don't wiggle loose over time, especially if you're going more off the grid camping and off road. On around to the front here, you do have a lower metal diamond plate. The unit has a traditional flat fiberglass front end with the windshield in it. Now this is different from say the 19 series um, and even some of the optional things on the 16 series. They would offer a fiberglass molded cap and that is not available currently on the larger eight wide series here, the 20.4 models. There is a battery disconnect down here. You have a traditional seven way Bargman wiring plug. There's a holder there. You can see that stuck in. Two and five sixteenths hitch ball, power tongue jack, heavy duty safety chains, breakaway cable, um, that power tongue jack also has a light and is manually crankable in case of an electronic failure. Adjustable foot pad on that as well. There's room back in behind here for one or two deep cycle batteries. It comes with zero from the RV maker. Couches RV Nation does provide one. If you want to get a second one, talk with your sales guy about that. They'll be glad to go over that with you. You have two 20 pound propane tanks on the front of it with an auto changeover regulator. But overall, very similar to the traditional no boundaries that have been out for the last few years. Um, you're just basically getting a little bit more ground clearance. You're getting a little bit wider body interior. And again, it is a double axle where a lot of their models are single axle. Um, but pretty much a no-bow camper that you're used to seeing for the most part. All right, guys, we're going to head back inside. I want to close this thing up, show you what it looks like closed real quick. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, guys, we're now back inside the new No Boundaries 20.4 model here. And I just want to close this up to kind of show you what it looks like all closed up here. So when you are ready to open or close the RV, you have to come back in here to the side of the cabinet where you have your slide in and out button here. And again, this is the Lippert in-wall slide, used to be referred to as the Schwentek slide. It's going to come straight in and straight out. So very important to make sure your cabinet doors over there are closed. Make sure the floor is clean, nothing in the way. You basically just hit, hit the button here, and this thing is going to come straight in. If you need to let off the button to go check out there make sure you're not about to run into an electric pole or water pole or whatever might be on the side of your campsite let off the button go check it out uh, or if you have somebody with you they can kind of holler back and forth at you make sure you're good and clear Okay, so when it is closed up here, you can kind of see what this looks like. It is a snug fit. Um, so you could squeeze through here for a skinny person. I'm not really going to try it myself at the moment, but you could kind of squeeze through there. If the table was down and out of your way, uh, it would be a little bit easier to do. Um, but if you are Wanting to kind of get back there, you could squeeze through there a little bit. Again, it just takes a couple seconds to bump that room out. That would get you back there to your bathroom, to your refrigerator, and that type of stuff. Now, as far as just kind of coming in, taking a nap at a rest area or something, you could do that as well. There's plenty of room in between here. You can drop the bed down, come in here, and sleep. So no big deal for that side of things. But a little bit snug to get to the back portion of the RV. And we're gonna run her right back out here. Again, all we're doing is hitting the button. This thing goes straight back out. Again, guys, don't forget to check out the people at Couches RV Nation, guys. They are one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country. Will definitely save you guys a lot of money on a new RV if you're interested.
Thanks again, guys, for taking the time to watch my RV videos.